Hello YouTubers, welcome to part 2 of building the killing tower aka the doormat. I didn't intend putting it in two parts, I do apologise, but I had an important phone call I had to deal with, it was very important. Uh, so I'm going to continue now with the build, it's still, I left the game at the end of the last one straight away so there's no loss in time. And well, let's help us start this one. And we'll continue with the build ready for the Horde Knight later on. Now I will probably end it just before the Horde Knight and do part 3. The reason being otherwise the video will be a bit on the long side. So this will show you the rest of the build until it's ready. And then I will do the Horde Knight just to show the result of 7 days work. It does take a few moments, I'm afraid, to, to render the game in. Oh, I can hear the fridge in the game behind me, so we should be in at a moment. Let's have a look. YouTube up on the screen so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. There we are, we're back. Right, it's still only 25 to 10 in the morning on the game, so go back. Oh, I'm not sure we've got enough um, cobblestone frames yet. Let's have a look. So if I go back up here and show you the resources, those resources there are basically for the entire build, but you do need double the amount of this, this was just for the plate frame at the bottom, so 375 make about 700 or thereabouts, you can always make a few more oh, I mentioned some trees in part 1 the trees that I'll eventually plant around the killing tower are pine trees, and here we are these are ones I've planted to get some seed each one of the larger ones will give me two seeds and the smaller ones will probably only give me one seed. But they'll be planted after the Horde Knight because I haven't got time to grow them. I could put them in if we have time later, but we'll see. Right, back to the doormat. Right. So far we've put the base down and we've put the cones into the ground. These cones are used to reduce the running zombies from running to crawling. It will cut their legs off. You'll see that in action in part 3. This barrier is literally a barrier to stop the zombies from getting through to me. And this top barrier is the barrier we walk on. So we can shoot the zombies. You can shoot down through these frames we have a bow and arrow and also guns so I'm just making sure I've done it all I haven't yet but remember it's got to be one frame away from the edge make sure your frame sits on top like that there, if you put it there it creates a step and 
that step would enable some zombies to jump up and up and get close enough, that's it and then they attack you so there's got to be one space all the way round don't worry if you haven't got an exact number, you can always make more of these I say they're so cheap to make I'm surrounded by trees and fibre all they cost to make. Right, assuming I haven't missed any, that is now. Yep, all done. That basically is it. You can defend yourself with just that. All you've got to remember to do is to uncover these cones. If you don't uncover them, the zombies will not lose their legs. I've already mentioned in situation in situ not situation in situ right that's it that is now ready normally there will be trees growing here and here etc but at the moment I haven't got the seed so I can't plant them now another point if you've got enough wood which if you haven't please cut down some more trees using your spare wood you want to upgrade the cones otherwise they will break very easy so using your stone axe and L2 this one here L2 hit the cones with the axe and it will upgrade them makes them slightly stronger do that to all the cones now, I'm not going to pretend the zombies won't get through one or two will but this is not this is only a day seven They can be upgraded again to metal, but you need iron for that. We'll not worry about that for the moment. If I get time, I'll upgrade a couple to show you. But if I don't, I'm not worried about it. at these bits It'll take a few moments but they're all all important Oh, 
they've all been upgraded once. They can be upgraded again to iron, <coughs> but I haven't got any on me to show you. Right, what I then like to do, me personally, is use some of the good old favourite frames and cover these edges. I don't like them, they're untidy. Not the cones, the edges. personal preference. You can put the, the cones the other way upside, point side up, but when the bodies die they end up going down in between the cones if you're not careful one or two of them. They do come back up again afterwards but they're just messy. I find this way so much better. the body dies on this cone this way up you can loot the body quite quickly basically ready. That is the basic killing tower aka the doormat. Well done. You can now get behind that, get up on there and you're safe for your very first horde night. I'm just going to break these while I've got time because you can't plant trees obviously in asphalt so you need to put dirt in instead I would be planting trees ready for the next horde night but it is horde night and I'm still going to plant the trees because I know the system it doesn't matter to me the trees are not important this early the only problem you might have with putting the trees in now is the zombies will stand here and run against here and they won't lose their legs but you can still kill them I remember I'll show you them later. How many seeds we get? Should get two from this one.
while I'm cutting the trees down, make sure you've got enough arrows um, and a complete bow. Don't use an old bow. Place it if you have to. If you've been lucky enough to find other weapons during the week, all well and good. If you haven't, you can still do it with an arrow. And a, you can still do it with your bone arrow, a bone shiv, and if you've made one, a wooden club. I'm not over keen on the wooden clubs, they take a lot of work, but they do work. get also a tip to keep an eye on your health your food and drink in the bottom left corner as it comes up or if you're not sure where to look go to your character look over here I haven't got much food not bad on water I can eat the other tin of food keep him um, stocked up it doesn't have to be a hundred percent all the time but keep him stocked up your health and stamina will go up, you won't lose points. I dug out a couple of holes where the road tarmac is. They will need to be filled in with dirt or soil. soil to plant the dirt you want in other words if you've got green grass or if you've got burnt biome if you've got anything else you don't want you need to cut or dig 12 pieces of dirt 12 pieces of dirt highlight it go to recipes choose which one you want burnt forest grassy plains or sod sod takes a bit more I want grassy, so choose grassy and craft. Now you've crafted a little square of it, just place it in the hole. <coughs> right, now to plant the trees. The nearest you can plant trees next to each other is four blocks. <coughs> so one tree, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It saves you having to do all those cones. You can do all cones if you want. But this saves a cone and it also gives you wood if you need it. You can chop a tree down and replant it. <coughs> you need to do it at least two days before the hoard at the very latest 
gives the trees a chance to grow. As you can see I haven't done so, but it doesn't matter. I know what I'm hopefully I know what I'm doing with them. I need another three. <coughs> I'm gonna get them done now so they all grow at the same rate. state again it's best to do this no later than a couple of days before the hoard but they'll still stop them because the barrier will stop them just it won't chop off their legs right that is good enough you could start tonight on that with no problem I'm going to add another couple of things to it now comes your slight problem and that's getting up onto the top when I've done my tunnel I'll be able to get to my tower from underneath but at the moment I haven't got a tunnel so I have to jump up now jumping up you might miss and hit one of these you've got to jump onto here so you can put a block on there if you want to climb up but then remove the block and then you need to get up to these ones so you can jump up to those and we're here Right. Now the right tower is going to be five blocks high, but I want to put a case in there or a crate in there so I can put my loot. I've made two crates, but you cannot make crates without nails. You can't make nails without a forge. You can find nails, but you can't always find enough in time. So if you haven't got a crate, using wood, make yourself a container. Ten pieces of wood. One storage chest, craft. Now, I like to place it in the middle, here. Or if you have got a crate, same, here. The reason why I do them on the opposite side, you'll see in a moment. Then continue to build your tower. If you're gonna have it the same as me, of course. in there now just to stop me falling down the hole now to help you get up and off up and onto that you need two ladders on each side on opposite sides so four ladders one two three four 
one there, one there, one there, one there. Right, the reason why I haven't put one at the bottom, the main reason why I haven't put one at the bottom is for the bodies of the zombies. Second reason it stops the zombies from get getting up. That's not important, I'm not worried about that. Now, when you collect your loot, you can store it in there. Or, you can store it in there. So your inventory doesn't get too full. The reason why I've left the gap here is when I kill a zombie down below here, where I'm looking now, if I don't leave that gap, if I fill that gap in, the zombie's body will disappear. This is the thing I haven't spoken about yet with my design. When you kill a zombie underneath this platform, the body will appear to disappear. The body will lay here, then suddenly it will disappear. The reason why it disappears is because it cannot occupy the same space as these blocks. So instead it goes to the next nearest space, which is on top of that block and it lays there and waits for you to loot it. Don't worry about looting the body straight away. Leave them alone because you're going to be too busy fighting to stay alive. If you kill a zombie here, leave the zombie there. Move away. Go kill another zombie. Don't worry about the loot. You won't lose the loot. The body will disappear from here and it will reappear back up there. Then when you're ready, you can go back to the edge, jump on here, jump onto here and loot the body. Now you don't want to do too much jumping because you can get caught by zombies. So in my next small tutorial tip I will show you how to build an elevator system. The elevator will allow you to get down the bottom onto here very quickly. It's a glitch. It's not intended but it's a some clever person discovered it and ever since then people have been using it and why not why not indeed this is now ready for tonight the reason for this you can get up out the way of any zombies that might get on they can't get up here you can see a good distance it's a shame we can't find a zombie to bring him here and show you in the meantime we have an airdrop look on your map find the little parachute there it is and I'm going to get it because it might have medication it might have gun parts it might even have a gun if you're lucky pick up these tires now look at that that is a really good set of wheels so we'll save them for the time we get a bike get feathers if you see a nest stone if you haven't got enough stone you need to make arrows you can very quickly run out of arrows on horde night I destroy these bags but you can leave them and they will respawn I know I've got plenty of wood Normally I would just chop these trees down as I go. He's telling me he's hungry again. I just don't like to see bags of trash laying all over. It's just a personal thing. I've actually got a machine gun. I said sometimes you're lucky, I've got a machine gun. A couple of schematics. This is a slug schematic for making shotgun slugs. And this is MacGyver's book which helps you make scrap metal um, armour. So, I'm not a great lover of the submachine gun, but now I have one. 
I now have a decent weapon for tonight if I want to use it. Submachine gun shoots, you know, as it says, a machine gun. It does tend to kick up into the air though, so if you're using it, aim down at the feet of the zombie. By the time you finish shooting, it'll be aiming at the air. Oh, you just I should explain as I go along to the if you're new. These are snowberries. You can eat them, but you mustn't eat too many. You will end up with an upset stomach. I've just eaten two. I'm crappy, quite happy with that. It will just keep me from being too hungry until I get back. I've got 2,500 stone. That's good. So it means I can make, in theory, 2,500 arrows. If I have enough feathers. I've got two different types of arrows, stone and iron. I can switch between the two by getting my bow in my hand, pressing circle and then choosing which arrows I want to go for. I can go for the stone or I can go for the iron. I've now got iron. Another little tip, make a second bow takes a bit more time to concentrate on while you're doing it but make a second bow I now have two bows 237 is the one I've got in my hand now that has iron arrows I move to the second bow I'm going to load that one with stone arrows so now I can switch between the bows depending on the enemy or the prey that I'm going for. If I've got a particularly tough one I can use the iron arrows, if I've got a fairly easy one the stone arrows. Just a short tip. You probably get confused and use them differently but it doesn't matter. It's not important. It really isn't. Right, have I done this now? I think I have. Have a quick look while we're here. Collect a few resources. Tidy up the yard a little bit. The very fact that I'm not being attacked by zombies at the moment tells me that I have already looted the inside of this house. As will the empty trash can. Because it's empty I've already looked. Just picking up resources while you can. Watch out for these spikes, they're nasty. A lot of people use these spikes for defences. I have done in the past myself, I don't now anymore because I've got the doormat. These should all be empty if I've done my job properly. Right. Quite often you'll pick up one or two little arrowheads like I just did there. If you've got a couple of feathers, turn them into arrows. They're slightly stronger than the stone ones, do more damage. 
you haven't got space, don't bother. <laughs> Like those two recipes always use the recipe that will show you whatever could be made with you with that particular product for example if you want to know what do you do with oil highlight the oil press recipe you can make repair kits but you need iron oil cloth and duct tape you'll get used to them but if you until you do Remember, keep using that recipe button. Not only does it tell you what you can make, it tells you what you need to make it. Quick source of wood, also they look ugly. <laughs> of my characteristic base as you approach it. I just managed to get a little bit of scrap iron so what I'll do is I'll show you the next upgrade on the cones. So with iron Uh, those two are the strongest cones I've got at the moment. Do you want to check something? 200. Would be one of What are you going to do that for? Sorry, I didn't mean to hit it and end up with a bump. I don't want a bump. already read these I shall read these I already know that one so I'll keep them for later this one I already know this one so I'll keep them for later you can read them again at the moment on console so put these things away for use another day got some spare bullets I found earlier so we will keep that gun on us for tonight just in case right just looking around get ready for the evening have a look see what we can do in the meantime I'm going to make all these feathers into arrows. I'm going to make sure I don't run out of arrows. 407 arrows. That will make a lot of feathers of uh, arrows, but it will also improve your weapon skills. You'll see a bar, a little thing across the bottom of the toolbar, I mean, above the toolbar itself, saying your weapon skills have been improved. There we go, your skill in weaponsmith is now 29. That'll go up another couple of times before that finishes. I'm going to put these books and schematics into the bookcase. I 
lot of people wouldn't have a hole like this in the wall and leave with eye normally. It doesn't do any harm. It doesn't attract the zombies. They can't see you in the same way as we understand seeing. So don't worry about it. Put it in a, at your leisure. It's wide now, look. Right, so tonight, what have I got to take with me? I've been very lucky to find a gun. So I have one gun, two bows, and one iron club. Now you can make a club if you've got a hundred pieces of iron, or you can repair one you've already got. So what I'll do, I'll make a fresh one, and I'll burn the old one to get the iron back. Put that one in the furnace. Let's see how long it takes to burn, shall we? 138. Oh, perfect. Don't be tempted to scrap it normally in your hand, because you'll only get 75 pieces of iron back. If you remember to put it in the forge, you will get back your original 100 piece of iron. And of course, don't forget to make a new one. <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need that. We do need a stone axe or and a shiv. Again, the shiv is almost um, used up. We'll make a fresh one. very handy for skinning but also you can kill with them now you can't scrap your old one you just got to throw it away this is the start of my tunnel that will take me eventually underground to the tower but not just yet. So, tonight, we have the gun, two bows, when I get one, a shiv and an axe. That's all I need for tonight. Just make myself another iron club. plus arrows I'm not going to need all of them so I'll put some away for another time sure you've got some food and drink I haven't got much water as you can see so we'll not only make some more fresh water but we'll also go get some more water from the lake source nearby. You can drink murky water of course but it will give you or might give you stomach upset.
excuse me, I've got somebody at the telephone at the door at the moment, excuse me. My apologies, I'll try and edit that bit out, which you won't know about if I do, and if I don't, I do apologise. Right, it's now 6.14 in the game. I've got my new shiv, which is nice and sharp, and I've got my new club. That could be dumped, don't need that. So that, folks, is the basic K 
Killing Tower, aka the doormat. I've had a few people ask me to do it. I hope it's um, explained clearly. You can see the basics of it. You've got the ground level, which um, it's made up of cobblestone frames. You've got the level you walk on, which is cobblestone frames. And you've got the barrier, cobblestone frames. So you probably guess I like cobblestone frames. Right, I've got some iron, so I'm going to improve at least one in each bunch. Normally I don't get as far as doing this at the very beginning because you don't always have the resources. I've been very lucky. I'm near a wasteland zone so I've been able to get a bit of iron. I know I haven't got enough to do all of them so I'll just do the odd one. You can guarantee they'll break the one which I haven't done. Now while I've got a moment to think and talk, in front of me here, below the frames, you will see green grass. That's not good. If they break these cones, they will be able to dig their way through that grass. So, using a bit of common sense, I'm going to reinforce these ones. don't need to do these ones quite yet because they're already all right they've got um, asphalt behind them tar stone call it what you will so I'll do this one this one oh I've got enough iron that's all I can do for the moment I should have thought of that sooner what I can do of course is using clay and small stone I can make some more blocks I can make some more of the blocks that you see the tower made from so we need some clay some stone of what we got each block costs three cobblestone rock the resources cobblestone rocks and you make as many as you want you can go for 700 I don't need 700 I'm gonna go for a nice easy number 33 the reason why I do 33 because wrong one let's go to this one might help 33 each block I'm going to make uses three of these cobblestone rocks so 33 will give me 11 blocks highlight them go to recipes again find flagstone block make as many as I can craft Now, this again, I'm jumping the gun. You may not be able to do this this early, but I'm showing it to you anyway. What I'm going to do is get up on there. Just for the moment, remove Move the corner ones and those ones just for a second. Dig this bit away. Eventually, I'll do all of it where I need to, but just for now, mind those cones, they will damage you, in fact, they will kill you. And put the blocks in its place. Remember to cover the blocks up again. It is important that they have these. Uh, frames on the ground now that if they break those cones those blocks will slow them down a little bit more that's all it's for Three more. 
We haven't always got time to do this, of course, but I have luckily at the moment, so I'm going to do it. You need to have these on the floor. If you don't have these ones on the ground, the bodies will not lift up to the top, which is part of the system. And if you don't have them on the ground to start with, you cannot put these ones here, they will drop down. They need the bottom ones to support them. Of course you could do what I'm doing now before you even build it if you've got time. Make your blocks. What do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Definitely need eight more. Eventually, as I say, I will fill in all of it. I'm just doing the ones at the edge at the moment. So to make eight, each one has three um, Cobblestone rock, so you need 24. Cobblestone rock. You don't have to do it exact. You'll find I never do usually. It's just showing you how simple it is to make them. Highlight that. Go to recipes again. Flagstone block. Just let them make it. And make the maximum number. While that's doing that, we'll dig out the hole. Now you will find problems appearing on the first time, things get damaged, that's how you learn. But in my opinion this is going to be a lot easier for you than trying to defend your house. Stone rocks look absolutely wonderful to me. I love them. But again, they will get attacked by zombies that are down here, so you can upgrade them using just clay. So, stone axe, secondary action, which is L2. That doubles the strength. At the moment, they're only 500. If you reinforce them like this, they go up to a thousand. The next stage after this is cement. I will do the top ones as well, but they're not so important because they're out of reach. Right, you can see only just that the sky is starting to turn a little bit pink very soon it will be red and it'll be welcome to your first horde night all right i'm going to go back to the base stop this recording here do whatever it is i need to quickly do here in the home and then start part three which would be the horde night itself so folks, if you're live, please excuse me, I'll be back in five minutes. If you're not live and you're watching the recording, 
look out for part three please to see the tower in use and the first horde night on this world thank you for your time bye bye for now